but it's the story of Portuguese Ride. They came running up to Betterman's and carried in a gun beyond the ridge. He was told to shun the decoy runner if he wanted his old company to live. But his Civil War successes and his breaking to his troops had made him blind. He sent him over Lodge Still Ridge with no one to protect him from behind. Well, he didn't see the Cheyenne and he didn't see the Sioux. He was stunned by the Arapaho and swept Oglala too. Over 90 soldiers slaughtered on that cold December day. One to blame. Portuguese. He came over from the Azores to seek gold in the big Horn Mountain range. When he got to Fort Bill Carney, they offered him a job and so he stayed. Had he not been on a water run, he would have been with Fetterman that day. So he and Daniel Dixon stepped forth to take a message right away. He had a Spencer repeating rifle and a half a sack of oats, a bag stuffed full of hardtack and a thick buffalo coat, and a note from Colonel Carrington, we need more men to fight, Godspeed men ride!
His facial signs of frostbite and icicles were dripping from his beard. He told them of the massacre, how men on both sides died, about the brutal weather and the details of his ride. Then he fell onto the ballroom floor and straight into the book of history. Well, he fell onto the ballroom floor and straight into the book of history. Portuguese, Portuguese.